Good morning. I've travelled about uh, 10 miles further inland into a much more mountainous area. I haven't fished this part of the river for two or three years. So we'll give it a go and see what's in here. Unfortunately, there's a, a man just dropped in with a spinner above me. But uh, we'll see. I'm fishing a uh, size 16 olive hairsier nymph on the point. And I'm trying out the golden olive quill with the uh, body varnished. Let's see what difference that makes, or if it makes any difference. Uh, if it catches fish, that'll be fine. Right, let's just uh, slide down the bank here. Looking at the water, it's uh, it's quite a flow on it. If they're going to be any fish, I think they're going to be on the far side, uh, close to the bank. It's a little bit shallower on this side, so we'll have a few casts. Let's see how we get on. It's just after 7 a.m. Just asked the uh, the spinning angler whether he couldn't sleep. It's unusual to see somebody on the river this early. I'm just uh, running it through, through the middle and across to the other side. See if there's anything around. Mind you, if he's been through here with a spinner, uh, I might be out of luck. There is some weed on the bottom which may hamper things from time to time. But as you can see the water is clear, it's uncoloured. As you can see the sun is already up. Trying to get as close as I can to the far bank without actually getting into the canes. That was the bottom. Some weed on the fly again. So it seems to be a little bit uh, deeper down the middle here, so we'll have some cast down the middle. That doesn't mean, of course, that there's any fish there, but we'll see. I'm just trying to stay in contact with the flies without actually dragging it through. It's quite a, a medium fast current. That was the bottom. Closer to the far side again. Hopefully, not into the canes. Closer to the bottom again. Yes, this is not proving terribly productive. Uh, as I said, with the spinner having gone through it, let's try not to expect too much. Let's see if 
if I can get across to the far side. I think it's always very disappointing when uh, you think a piece of river, a stretch of river, a little bit of water looks so enticing and looks so fishy and you get disappointed. But one could argue that is fishing. Just going down the middle again, just checking the water. Western Front. Hmm. I hope that was the bottom. So that would have been disappointing. As you can see the canes are hampering casting. That's the bottom. He's only stuck the spinner in to my right here, which is really not going to be helpful at all. There we go. It's one of the things that we have to put up with. And I have to say, if you are a fisher person with a spinner, Always give some consideration to the people that are on the river with you. And the same applies with the fly, of course. Venga, hasta luego, suelte! I presume he's out to catch breakfast. <laughs> Although it is all catch and release. Certainly it's going through at quite a speed. Well, that was unexpected. And it's come off. That's why it was unexpected. There you go. But at least we know there's some fish in here. And there's another one. Trying to get in the current. Not a big fish. The man was just saying that they've put in a lot of small fish. There we go. Oh. Small but welcome. And that is on the Olive Hersia nymph. There. So that gives us a start to the day. Oh. Oh my god, look at this. 
This is a Madrilla. <laughs> Taking the uh, golden olive quill nymph. Right, let's have another go. Obviously in this slightly deeper water, uh, coming down with the current, obviously. Strangely enough, they must have followed the flies down because they were almost right in front of me when they took. Let's hope they are not the only two. It's not the bottom. Fish. And that is again to the Hazier nymph. Just in the side of the mouth there. Oh, and it's out. And he's away. like I found a hive. <laughs> I wonder whether it's the little golden olive nymph that is attracting them. It's difficult to say. That was the bottom. Yeah. Just have to keep plugging away at it, don't we? See if there's any more here. It's the only way to find out is to keep fishing through. big. I'm not sure it really matters that much. We're here to catch fish and that's another one. He certainly wants to get into the current. Let's see if it's getting up out of the water. There he is. Come on my friend. to the olive hairsier nymph again and this one just a little bit bigger yes come on you're splashing the camera and the nymph has come out so there you see it and now you don't right here we go again Mm -hmm. 
which is the rockfish. lost or what we've lost or if we've lost yes we've lost the point fly right I've tied another there's your nymph on just put it downstream put my glasses back on and have another go few fish around you can't be complacent about any little touch whether it's the bottom or not and this is another fish and come on my friend they're all like peas in a pod all uh, more or less the same size and this again to that hair's ear nymph. And he's away. So, tying on the same fly has proved successful. And this is a very, very simple tie. Ah, that was weed. It is just a, uh, a straight hair's ear, olive hair's ear nymph, brushed out a little bit, and it's doing the business as they say. another rockfish. Let's hope it's not the same rockfish that ate my last fly. like it's saved for another day. If not another day, certainly another fish. A little bit of luck. A lot of these rockfish, maybe it's shallowing up a little bit. Right, let's move up into the swim a little bit. See if I can encourage a few more.
fishing about two and a half rod lengths and when you have rougher water like this uh, stealth is not so important We're going to fish close to the bottom in the rocky area. It's going to happen. And that's another fly. Another fly to the river. Right, that's a, another nymph tied on. And that was a bite straight away, I think. And there's another one. Come on, my friend. Don't go away. Didn't like getting hit on the head with the net, did you? Yes, again to the olive hairs in nymph. Yeah, that is the way. I wonder what they are finding interesting in the olive hairs here nymph. It's obviously depicting something that is either in the water or is in the diet. Let's move a little bit further up. For those that haven't watched before, I'm using a 10 foot 6 2 weight from Loomis and Franklin. Like a lot of my tackle, been used for years. And I'm pleased to say it's gone quiet on the western front. <laughs> It was uh, almost becoming monotonous and boring. We don't want boring. Certainly not for you viewers. I'm sure if I put through the mini bugger, I would be catching fish after fish, but maybe another day. Some weeds on the on the fly. He was saying uh, that spinning chappy. But they put some fish in about uh, two or three weeks ago, but uh, all about that sort of size. Nothing, nothing excessively large. Um, hoping for them to grow, presumably over the summer, ready for the winter season. There are very very few competitions during the summer, um, mainly because of the heat. Um, so most of the competitions are from September, October onwards and many in May. Sometimes the national championships are held in June, but that's further north. Uh, 
bleed on the line. Sounds like uh, somebody is just arriving behind me. Whether it's an angler or a walker or what, I do not know. It's the rockfish again. And again. another fish just moving up a couple of yards made the difference Ooh. come on out of the current back over here see if we can put you in the net this one again is one of those slightly larger ones Right, and the hook has come out in the net. Somewhere. Yeah, right. Just uh, untwist this. In case you were wondering, you will not see me handling the fish per se, I prefer to handle them if necessary in the net, which I've obviously got to do to unhook them, and return them as quickly as possible. So you will not see any photographs or extra pieces of video showing me holding the fish. Just get them back in as quickly as possible. rock yes that's uh, for the four that's just turned up actually belongs to the rangers <laughs> I don't know what work they're doing a rock Like a, a lot of mints, you've got to tie the amount that you think you're going to need because if you're fishing close to the bottom, you're going to lose some. And that doesn't matter what uh, mint it is. Okay, if you're fishing up in the water, that's a different matter. But if you're fishing close to the bottom, that you're most likely to be doing with a nymph, then you have to be prepared to lose a few. as much as it grieves. <laughs> Hooks and beads and materials are not cheap. That was another nibble. Let's see how we get on. Put that through again. That was just going to get caught on a rock. need to be a little bit further over I think but uh, at the risk of catching the canes it's obviously a little bit deeper here as you can see lots of big rocks and stones for them to hide behind for me to get caught on but that's the uh, the nature of the environment if that's what they feel safe in 
That's where they're going to be. Another nibble there, I think. some weed, I did have some weed. That's another fish. Come on over here, out of the, out of the water, out of that strong current. Oh, he doesn't like that idea. Come on. Oh, ah, he's come off. There you go. Not only has he come off, he's broken me off. Well, that's another nymph on. I actually tied these with uh, different beads. Uh, I started off with gold, the one I just lost was copper, and this one is silver. Let's see if it makes any difference. It hasn't so far. steps up river. It's difficult to say whether they are actually in the current or just off of the edge of it. It's a shame I lost that fish, it was another one of the slightly larger ones. That's the bottom. Taking a couple of steps every now and then. Just to go a little bit further up the river. the current, whether that will make any difference, I don't know. It certainly brings through the line a lot quicker. Seems that they are more in the runoff than in the head of this particular part of the water. Just moving up to the head of this uh, little area. I haven't had an offer. I don't know. Keep plugging away and see what happens. That was taken through really quickly by the current. There, there is one at the head.
Come on, my friend. There. There we go. Calm down, calm down. The hook is out. And away you go. Well done. So, as I say, there, there was one at the head of all this turbulence. Let's move up a little bit further. Getting into fairly shallow water now. 